All right, guys, welcome to episode two of the Q the Fix build series. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of uh, Q made accessories that they make for the fix. Uh, the first one we're going to take a look at is the Q whistle tip. So it ships in this uh, just plastic bag with a tear strip on the top and then it is zip locked right here. And so this one is the PVD finish one, unlike my last uh, Cherry Bomb video, which was just the normal finish. So we'll get a good look at that as a, a very nice color. There's that Q logo right there. So the finish here, uh, like I said, it's a PVD finish. It's a dark gray. Show you the inside. And so this is basically just a blast mitigation device. Uh, rather than getting any of the, the blast that you would get from the cherry bomb uh, next to the shooter, you know, to your left or right, um, it's going to be sending all those gases and blast forward of yourself and the people next to you. So um, let's take a look at a couple of other things. This is going to be the Q-Cert sling mount. So uh, as I mentioned in the, the unboxing video of the fix, uh, the system that Q uses for attaching accessories on the rail is a Q-cert. So it locks into these channels and then you use uh, screws to attach them there. So this is a sling mount for attaching your slings. So in the back of the fix, you've got a QD socket, uh, but there's nothing to attach anything to the front. So this is the QD socket for the handguard. And so it's just going to attach via this tab in the front. This is going to lock into this channel. And then you're going to utilize this screw on the uh, screws on the handguard. So here's how that'll look. We're also going to take a look at the stock attachment Picatinny rail. So basically what this is, is it allows you to mount a monopod to the stock underneath. So this is just gonna mount up right here like that, or I guess you could put it either way you want. Um, but it, it comes with this uh, aluminum constructed three section Picatinny rail, as well as a T25 Torx screw. And lastly is the Fix Multi-Tool. This is definitely something I would recommend that any owner of a Fix purchase. Uh, this is gonna assist you with basically taking down the entire rifle um, without the need of any other tools except maybe a torque driver. Um, but yeah, so. Basically what this is gonna allow you to do is swap barrels, install accessories, remove suppressors, tighten scope rings, as well as open a beer. So it comes complete with a T25 Torx bit. It also features a half inch, quarter inch, three quarter inch hex as well as a 3 8 and half inch drive right here. Very nice. So it even has your torque specs for the barrel nut. It's got a nice picture of the fix right there and the Q logo. All right, let me get these accessories installed and I'll come back and show you guys how they look. All right, guys, I got everything attached. So let's start off down here with that Picatinny rail attachment for the stock. Super easy, uh, required 50 pounds of torque, and it just 
like I said, you could you could swap it out, you know, switch it around to one of those two screws, uh, but in doing so the other way, you won't have this uh, nice clean line that you get right here. Uh, it would stick out maybe about that much if you flipped it around. But I thought it looks really nice. And here is the QD sling mount. Very nice. And there is the PVD coated whistle tip. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but uh, it does have a, a slight purplish tint to it. I'm hoping that can pick up there. It's it's very slight purple uh, in, in different shades of light. But yeah, there's all of the different Q accessories I got for the fix. If you guys have any questions on those, just drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to uh, answer those questions. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Fix Build Series.